In this demonstration, we'll learn how to open and navigate the device manager in Windows 8. From our start screen, the first step we'll need to take is to move to the desktop UI. From the desktop UI, we'll click the Windows logo key plus the C to bring up our charms bar. Our charms bar will click settings and go to our control panel. Under control panel, we'll go to the systems and security control panel where we'll find device manager under system. Open device manager and you'll see a listing of your computer name with all of the devices that have been recognized by Windows 8. For the purpose of our demonstration, let's expand the network adapters. Under the network adapters, you'll, have, you'll see several listed. Since this is a virtual machine, the adapter we're looking at is our Hyper-V network adapter. So let's right click on that and we'll take a look at the properties for it. The properties page gives us several tabs including general information about it, advanced information and configuration options, driver information, the details of that device and its properties, and an events tab. If we go back to our advanced tab, you can scroll through the different properties and you can set the configuration as you need to for your particular machine. On the drivers tab, we have the ability to both update drivers and also if we've updated a driver that's causing problems for us, we have the ability to roll back that driver to the previous one that we know works okay. Back in our device manager, if we've just added a device and we want to make sure that it appears in the device manager, we can right click at the top level on our computer and we can click scan for hardware changes. At this point, Windows 8 will rescan the computer and add any devices it's found to its list here. We can also disable devices from the device manager. Let's go back to our network adapter. If we want to disable it, we'll simply right click it and we'll set it to disabled. At this point, it's been disabled and you can tell that it's disabled because the icon has changed and it now has a downward pointing arrow showing that the device is now down or disabled.